Turbo Conquering Mega Eagle. This is just an idea I had for a new oil burner design using scrap car parts that anyone can lay their hands on. Uh, basically, I'm taking a, a windscreen wiper motor and, and the gearbox and attaching it via an old bolt and an old socket to this power steering pump. Um, it is an incredibly bodgy build, uh, but I just wanted to see if it would work. It kind of worked, um, as you'll see right at the very end of this, this little clip. Um, certainly made fire, which is which is always the most important thing. Uh, <clears throat> but it was using kerosene, not uh, not waste oil, so failed in that respect. And also because uh, I was trying to force the kerosene through automotive injectors of a diesel engine um, <clears throat> I think they need quite a lot more pressure to, to open them up properly than, than the power steering pump could supply from all the information that I could find online uh, power steering pumps put out anywhere from sort of 800 psi up to 1300 um, and injectors take, I don't know, about 15 to 2,000 psi to, to open them up. So uh, I knew I knew it wasn't going to work straight away. I altered the, um, the the pin on the back of the injector so it would open at a much lower pressure. But then this obviously upset the spray. Uh, the, the beautiful thing to me um, about using an injector is that regardless of what pressure you put down there, it'll always atomise it perfectly. Um, oh, this is this is what's really appealing to me. So you can so you can just have a very small small flame or you can crank it right up and have a very large flame. I'll definitely have another crack at it. Um, the windscreen wiper motor wasn't powerful enough, so pulled that off and used a pneumatic drill, um, and then uh, with the with the engine oil that that pump pretty much locked up solid, and I couldn't even turn it with the pneumatic drill. So put a, put an impact wrench on it after that, and that just tore the whole lot apart. But again, it, it wouldn't open the uh, wouldn't open the injectors. So uh, I'm going to try another power steering pump, one that hasn't got the built-in pressure relief valve, so I can. Put, a, put another pressure relief valve in the system and find a much more powerful motor and, and gear that right down with belts and stuff I suppose. Uh, I, I definitely think there's a, a lot of mileage in, in doing things this way, especially if I can do it with bits and pieces that I've, I've pulled off cars while I've done stuff I've gone out and bought because hydraulic pumps are expensive, uh, so motors I suppose, but whatever, not as expensive. Um, here you go, here's the, here's the whole lot cobbled together. Um, like I say, that windscreen wiper motor didn't stand long because it wasn't powerful enough. If I can get this system to work, it'll, it'll just open up so many more possibilities with waste oil. It's quite exciting, I suppose, and, um, you know, it'll be very portable. Uh, in this instance, it, it would have run off 12 volts, but um, I think I might go for mains power instead because I, I do need a bit more. Bit more power on the motor, um, and if I have redundant <coughs> sort of redundant power out of the motor and the pump, then it'd be nice to run several burners at the same time. Because ultimately, uh, I've got some railway line I'd like to bend up um, to make a monstrous power hammer. Uh, so I'm gonna have to put a lot of heat all in the same place and four burners would be the best way to do that, I think. Um, because I won't be able to get it in inside any sort of um, forge or anything like that, so it's going to be done in the open on top of some fire brick. But, hey, PK, okay, it's finished. Uh, enjoy the fireworks.
Just remember, if you subscribe, you might see me blow myself up one day. Cheers. Goodbye.